Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, pag-uusapan natin ang trigonometric functions of angles at ano ang kanilang mga sign kapag sila ay nakaplot sa Cartesian plane. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Trigonometric function came from the concept of angles in standard form. Recall natin na kung meron tayong angle na naka-standard form na nasa isang Cartesian plane, yung ating vertex ay nasa origin, initial side ay nasa positive x-axis, and terminal side ay nasa kahit saang part ng Cartesian plane. Now suppose meron tayong isang point sa ating terminal side, we call that point P, at ang coordinates niya ay x, y. So, pwede nating lagyan ng vertical line at uh, makaform tayo ng isang right triangle. So, itong corner na to yung naglalaman ng right angle. And labeling the parts of this angle, itong vertical part, dahil ito ay responsible sa vertical point or vertical coordinate ng ating point, we can label this as Y. As from the origin until this point, that can be labeled as X dahil yan yung horizontal aspect ng point. At itong point na to, yung P, hanggang dito sa ating origin, that can be labeled as R kasi pwedeng yan yung mag-serve na radius ng ating circle. So recall that a concept very related to Right triangle is the Pythagorean theorem at pwede nating magamit yan using the following variables. Such that meron tayong r, yung radius na magsisilbing hypotenuse, equal siya sa square root ng x squared, yung isang leg, plus y squared, yung pangalawang leg. Lagi natin itong gagamitin or lagi nating makukuha ang radius if we are given with a coordinate. Later, gagamitin natin to kapag nag-identify na tayo ng trigonometric functions ng angle. So, ano-ano nga ba ang trigonometric functions ng angle? Pakita natin dito. Kung ang angle natin ay naka-standard position, tapos involve yung P na ang coordinate sa X kama Y, dapat itong point na to ay dinaanan ng terminal side, then the following trigonometric functions can be defined. Una, yung sine natin, sine theta or sin theta. We know that this is opposite of the theta, meaning y, yung kanyang side na involved, divided by the hypotenuse, which is r. And r should not be equal to zero para hindi mag-undefined yung ating sine. Kung cosine naman tayo, cosine involves adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent natin dito ay yung x. Tapos, ang hypotenuse natin ay yung r. Still, r should not be equal to 0 para hindi mag-undefined. Kung tangent naman ang involve na trigo function, it's opposite over adjacent. Ang opposite natin ay y, ang adjacent natin ay x. At sa tangent naman, ang x natin ay hindi pwedeng mag-0 dahil magiging undefined yung ating tangent. Next, we have here cosecant or CSC. Ito naman ay hypotenuse over opposite. Ang hypotenuse natin ay R, ang opposite natin ay Y. Kapag ang Y natin ay 0, it will become undefined. For second or sec theta, that's hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse natin ay R, adjacent natin ay X. And finally, cotangent theta, that is adjacent over opposite. Our adjacent is x, our opposite is y. Ang gusto kong puntuhin sa part na to ay kahit given lang tayo ng isang coordinate at dapat yung coordinate na yon ay dinaanan ng terminal side ng angle, makukuha natin yung anim na trigonometric functions ng angle na yon. Kahit hindi natin alam yung pinaka-measure ng angle na to, as long as we know the point kung saan dumaan yung terminal side, we can identify the six trigonometric functions for theta. Gawin natin yun sa example na to. Suppose yung terminal side ng angle ay dumaan sa 4, 3. Let's identify the six trigo functions for this angle. Kailangan alam natin yung x, yung y, at yung r. Ang x natin is 4, ang y natin is 3. R, gagamitin natin yung Pythagorean theorem. This is 4 squared plus 3 squared, or simply square root of 25 or 5. 
using these three values, pwede na nating ilista yung sine theta, cosine theta, we also have tangent theta, cosecant theta, secant theta, and cotangent theta. Sine theta is y over r. This is 3 over 5. That is your sine theta. For cosine theta, we have x over r. This is 4 over 5. And for tangent theta, you have y over x i4. Dinerecho ko na siya na substitute, pero sige, ilagay natin dito yung kanyang uh, equivalent. We have y over x. For CSC, ang madali dito, babalik ta rin mo lang, meron kang r over y, we have 5 over 3. For a second, you have r over x, 5 over 4. And for cotangent, we have x over y. This is 4 over 3. So example number 2, ikaw naman. I'll be pausing for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, i-reveal natin yung correct answer. Sa example number 2, sa negative 12,5 naman dumaan yung terminal side, meron tayong x value na negative 12, y natin is positive 5, tapos yung r, gamitan natin ng Pythagorean theorem, we have negative 12 squared plus 5 squared. Negative 12 squared will be 144, and 25 squared, or 5 squared rather, will be 25. Pag in natin yan, r will be square root of 169 or simply 13. So your sine theta is equal to y over r, that is 5 over 13. Your cosine theta, this is x over r, negative 12 over 13, or pwede mong ilagay yung negative sa hanay ng fraction bar. For tangent theta, meron kang y over x. You have 5 over negative 12 or negative 5 over 12. For cosecant theta, you have y or r over y. This is 13 over 5. Wag na natin gawing mixed number improper na. For second theta, meron naman tayong r over x. Ang r natin ay 13, ang x natin is negative 12, or negative 13 over 12. And finally, for cotangent theta, you have x over y. This is negative 12 over 5, or negative 12 over 5. Ganyan tayo mag-identify ng 6 trigofunctions. Ang nakikita nyo sa screen ngayon ay iba't ibang mga special angles na naka-radian form. Kung hindi ka pa marunong mag-convert ng radian to degrees, ilalagay ko na lang yung link ng video natin about that dito sa upper right corner ng video na to. Ginagamit natin to if meron tayong unit circle na ang radius ay 1. Tapos, ito yung mga coordinates ng terminal side ng bawat angle na nakikita ninyo dito sa parenthesis malapit sa P. So, for pi over 6, meron tayong square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. For pi over 4, meron tayong square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2. For pi over 3, meron tayong 1 half, comma square root of 3 over 2, and so on. Again, ito ay mga special angles na... Readily, makukuha natin yung kanilang values for the six trigo functions using the following coordinates. Now, isa pa sa mga kailangan nating malaman ay yung sign ng bawat trigo functions depende kung saan nagtapos yung ating terminal side. First case, yung ating terminal side ay nasa first quadrant. 
Kung makakita ninyo sa picture, positive yung ating x at positive din yung ating y. So, dahil ang sign natin is y over r, alam naman natin na r is always positive dahil ito ay measure ng radius. So, lumalabas na ang sign natin is positive divided by positive or positive din. Yung ating cosine, positive din yung x, positive yung r, positive din yung ating cosine. Same goes with tangent. At ganun din sa kanilang mga reciprocal. Positive ang cosecant, positive and second, at positive din ang ating cotangent. In conclusion, for the first case, yung terminal side na nasa quadrant 1, lahat ng trigo functions ay positive. Pero alam naman natin, may mga angle na hindi sa quadrant 1 nagtatapos yung kanilang terminal side. Paano naman kung sa second quadrant? Again, ang R natin ay positive pa din. Ang sign natin, ang Y is still positive. Ang R is positive. This is positive. Ang cosine, negative na yung X natin and positive yung R. Negative divided by positive will be negative kasi iba na sila ng sign. This will be positive over negative. Negative pa din dahil iba na yung sign. And together with the reciprocals, meron tayong positive divided by positive. That's positive. For a second, we have positive divided by negative. That's negative na. And for cotangent, this is also negative. In other words, if the angle ends at the second quadrant, only sine and cosecant are positive. The rest of the trigo functions ay negative. Paano naman tong quadrant 3? I suggest you pause this video for a while. Remember that R is always positive and identify the sign of the six trigo functions. After 10 seconds, i-reveal ko yung correct answer. Ang sign natin, y is negative, ang r natin is positive, it's still negative. Same goes or isabay na natin yung cosecant, this is positive divided by negative, that's also negative. For x, meron tayong negative, ang r natin is positive, this is negative. Ganon din, baligta rin lang natin, this is negative. Nireciprocal natin yung numerator and denominator ng cosine to get the second. Pero dito sa tangent, makikita natin na yung negative, i-divide natin sa negative. Dahil same sign sila, the answer is positive. At ganun din sa cotangent. In other words, when the angle ends at quadrant 3, tangent and cotangent, theta, are positive. Finally, for quadrant 4, Ito naman yung involved na coordinates. Ang R pa rin natin ay positive. Ang sign natin, negative over positive. That's still negative. This is positive over negative. That's still negative. For cosine, positive ang X, positive din ang R, positive ang ating cosine theta. Same goes with second theta. Sa tangent, ang y natin is negative, ang x natin ay positive, so ito ay negative. Ganon din sa cotangent. Pag naman ang angle natin ay nagtatapos sa quadrant 4, ang cosine natin at second theta natin ay parehong positive. Tatandaan ninyo yung mga placement ng terminal side kasi yun yung mag identify kung ano yung mga sign ng six trigo functions. In the next video, pag-uusapan natin ang reference angles. Thank you for watching! If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video!